Greetings, good sirs. May I have the pleasure of knowing your names? I'm Matt, and that's Vache. A pleasure to meet you, Matt and Vacha. Shall we commence our journey? The charging stations where spot robots rest and recharge is our first point of interest. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's proceed to the rock pile. Hey, Spot, how do you like your job? Ah, Mr. Matt, my employment as a tour guide provides great satisfaction. I find the dissemination of knowledge rather rewarding, don't you agree? Now behold the rock pile, a splendid collection of stone ensconced within wood boxes. Hey, Spot, I love your accent. Let us venture onward to the calibration board, shall we? Keep close. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Matt. My linguistics have been meticulously crafted to provide an authentic British experience. <laughs> now behold the calibration board, a marvel of black and white QR code tags. My name is Matt Klingensmith. I am Principal Software Engineer for Robot Autonomy on the SPOT project. My day-to-day -day work involves robots walking around industrial facilities, finding their way around, taking pictures of things. There's been a lot of new advances in AI technologies, specifically generative AI technologies, things that are able to write poetry or paint pictures or chat with people. Now here at the rock pile, we got boxes filled with large rocks. Back in my prospecting days, I would have sifted through each one looking for gold nuggets. Who knows, there might be a fortune waiting to be discovered. Hey Spot, tell me a haiku about this place. Levers, valves, and wood, robots grasp as best they could in this tech-filled hood. That's great poetry, thanks Spot. We were interested in seeing like, how could you use technologies like these for robotics? So things like ChatGPT, uh, some exciting new image captioning and visual question answering models came out. New uh, voice recognition software and voice creation software. Um, it's just been advancing at a steady clip. So we got together with a group of people and had a little brainstorm about like, what, how can we just link together some of these things and make something interesting? And we had a little hackathon where we put together a bunch of different demos. And this is one of those demos that we found really exciting and compelling, a robot tour guide. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, your tour guide robot. Let's explore the building together. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, and I will be your guide for today. Please follow me to the museum and the rest of the building. This is where we showcase our fastest four-legged robot, which can run up to 19 miles per hour. I hope you're not too slow to keep up with it. That's true, that's the right exhibit. Have you ever seen a robot run as fast as our Wildcat robot before? <laughs> I have not. So basically what we did, was we uh, gave the robot a very brief script that is along the lines of, here are the rooms, there's just a list of names, and then for each room, what we have is like a sentence that says, uh, this is uh, the charging station, it's where robots go to recharge. And it has that, and then it combines that with imagery from its cameras, from uh, its gripper, it has a camera in its gripper, and uh, on its face it has some cameras. And it, it runs those through what's called a visual question answering model, to try to get more information about what it sees before generating a response. So literally it will caption what's in the images around it, feed that in with the script that we gave it, and it comes up with a response. Ah, splendid. A fellow explorer with a camera. <laughs> Are you here to document our thrilling journey through this technological wonderland? Hey Spot, I love your hat. Ah, thank you kindly. This hat has been my trusty companion on many an adventure. We had several personalities here. That was actually one of the most exciting things. All we had to do was modify the script slightly to give it a little bit of a prompt for the personality that it's supposed to take on. Hey Spot, what do you think of your job? To guide and share in verse and tale is a task I relish without fail. In steel and wire my heart doth beat. In this role I find delight complete. Wow. <laughs> We just added one sentence like, you are a 1920s archeologist, you are a Shakespearean actor, you are a butler, right? And it would come up with these crazy personalities, it would incorporate its backstory into what it was seeing, reinterpret things that it was seeing. It was pretty incredible. Uh, one of the personalities early on that really surprised us was the uh, sarcastic personality, which we call Josh. 
And that was like an experience I've never had with a robot in my entire life, and it was awesome. Hey Spot, what else do you see? Well, Matt, I see the unfathomable void of my existence reflected in this QR code filled board. <laughs> oh, and also a large window. Hey Spot, tell me a haiku about this place. Generator hums low in a room devoid of joy, much like my soul, Matt. One other thing that really surprised us was how uh, this kind of system opens up uh, the possibility of lateral thinking on the part of the robot. Now, to be clear, it's not thinking, but the fact that it has uh, associations between English words and with culture means that you can ask it really roundabout questions that aren't direct, and it can figure out sort of what you want. One of the things we asked is, hey, can you show us your parents? And it walked over to the old Spots exhibits and showed us Spot V1. And just like, this is my this is my parent in a way. And like, we didn't encode any of that into it. Check it out. We've arrived at the gauges. This is where we demonstrate industrial inspection. Like, isn't it super cool how robots can be involved in so many industries? That is very cool. What else do you know about robots? Oh my gosh, there's so much to know about robots. Like, did you know we robots can be programmed to do like a variety of tasks? From guiding tours, like me, to performing complicated surgeries. We're also super good at tasks that are dangerous for humans. Plus, we're always ready to work and don't need breaks, except for a little charging time. We're like totally awesome. We are now in the presence of levers and valves set on a plywood board. These are used to demonstrate the delicate and precise grasping abilities of our spot robots. Quite fascinating, wouldn't you agree? Sure, what do you think about it? As a spot robot, I find these demonstrations of our capabilities quite extraordinary. It's a testament to the ingenuity of our creators, bridging the gap between the mechanical and the organic. Our precise movements mimic the finesse found in nature, a remarkable feat indeed. Hey Spot, thanks for the compliment, I'm thirsty. Here we are, at the snack bar and the coffee machine. This is where our human companions find their energizing elixirs. Please, feel free to rehydrate and recharge like our Spot robots do at their stations. So, what's next for this project? We see these AI technologies being useful in lots of environments. It's hard to know what kind of capabilities will even be available in the next few years. This kind of technology might make it possible for robots not just to follow our commands, but in some sense understand the actions that they can take in the context of the world around them. We think a capability like this might be useful not just to our current customers, but maybe even applications we haven't even imagined yet. Let's go take a break in the lounge, Matt. We can sit down and enjoy a cup of oil together. 